632 new this morning preparing for the future. The city of Norfolk is poised to partner with the Army Corps of Engineers to beef up the city's defenses against flooding. So this will mean a huge multi year construction project. Ten on your sides, Brett Hall joins us live from the newsroom now to explain how you can learn more about it. Brett. Good morning, Asia and Katie. Yeah, a week from today, Norfolk City Council could vote to ink this agreement between the Army Corps worth $2.6 billion. The project aims at reducing the city's risk to coastal flooding damage due to nor'easters, hurricanes, and everything else. According to the city's Norfolk, city of Norfolk's chief resilience officer, flooding events have tripled since the 1970s. So we have their website they've stood up right here to help you explain, and it is pretty extensive. It shows that the project is divided into five phases, several on the outskirts of the city, but they're going to begin with down with the downtown area. If you click on it, you can see the project area that they're working with from San Terra Norfolk General Hospital's campus over towards uh, the Ohio Creek watershed project and it divides it up to the different types of materials they're going to be using. The pump station, it brings up a photo of showing where a pump station would be built into the ground and shows you how it would help protect infrastructure on land from rising waters. It shows, let's see what a, another example we have here. This is called a bin wall. You can see up here and it also maps out where you would be walking, where you would be recreating because as many of us know, we have the Elizabeth River Trail downtown. There's several renderings of what downtown could look like with improvements. This is the waterside area. If you click on, let's see which one was it. I believe it was this. It shows there's now quite a big seawall from the dock of Waterside Marina up to the platform. So all of this is on the city of Norfolk's resilience website. We're going to have a link for you to reach there. Again, $2.6 billion, but the city responsible for 35% of that. We have seen grants already come in worth $400 million, but this is going to be a big deal as the city also starts working its long-term budget proposals, and that's coming up later this month. We're live in the newsroom. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.